I am good at getting nine today. I'd rather bone an eight than a nine though. There it is, there it is. Sparks is back. It's been a little while. Took a little hiatus. We got the brand new Archetype Hybrid from Track. We are on a 46 foot challenge pattern. Let's see how this looks. Oh. All right, that's a rough start to the video. Bone an eight pin. I'd rather bone an eight than a nine though. So let's talk a little bit more about the ball. Same i 3.0 slim that's in the original Archetype Solid. Uh, same QR11 additives, this time in a hybrid version. So the same additives that were on the Paragon Hybrid. Different base though, we got an HK22 base. Typically a little bit cleaner, a little bit sharper. I think that's what we're gonna see here. I might have to move it a touch right since I flip that eight pin. Well, that might get up. Wow. Man, that thing is quick when it sees friction. Clearly, I gotta move a little bit right because that ball's still hooking a little too much to the back end. We'll throw one more with this one and then we'll throw the comparison ball and see the differences. A little further right. It's not bad. So as you can see, that Archetype Hybrid's real sharp off the spot. Now, I wanna compare it to this ball right here, the Track Theorem. So another asymmetric hybrid from Track a little bit lower on the performance scale. Now to me, this one is a little bit cleaner and not as sharp. I think you're gonna see that here. Let's kind of stand in that same spot. This might just round out that, that back end motion a little bit better. There you go. A little half hit there and left a seven. But as you can see, when that one hits the friction, it rounds it out versus the archetype's really kicking. So we got a seven pin versus an eight pin. But I wanna get all 10. Let's see if we can do that with this ball. We're not here to get nine. Close. There it is, okay. That was a touch further right than the previous shot, but definitely rounds it out. Let me try and create a little bit more shape with this one. May have to slow it down just a pinch. That might make it. Ah, I am good at getting nine today. All right, question time with Barks. We're about halfway through the vid here. I wanna talk a little bit about inserts. Now for myself, I like to match the color of the inserts with the engraving on the ball. I like to be a little bit bold. And for an interchangeable thumb, I like to go with something bright like pink. That way I can see the, the ball spinning around the thumb as it's going down the lane. Now my question to you, do you like to stand out and match the engraving? Or do you like to blend in a little bit more? Do you like being mellow or do you like to be bold? Let me know down in the comments. Let's go back to the star of the show. Let's see if we can actually kick out a seven pin for a change. Oh, there it is, there it is. One thing I like about this ball is the colors. Now this reminds me a little bit of like a Brunswick Prism Hybrid, or if you remember from about three and a half years ago, the Aerodynamics by Ebonite. That was a sleeper of a ball. This one reminds me a lot of that. Oh, terrible. He'll strike. <laughs> throw a good, throw a bad. Seems to do the right thing but I don't want to finish on a bad shot. That's not what you people came here to see. One more good one, I'll send it home. That's a little better. All right, let's chat about it. All right, just finished bowling. Let's talk a little bit more in depth about the Archetype Hybrid. Like I said earlier, an HK22 cover stock base on this one with QR11 additives in a hybrid version. The same additives that were on the Paragon Hybrid in the past. And that ball was a bit more end over end, a bit more of a rolly type ball motion. Obviously with an HK22 base, that has a tendency to be a little bit longer and create a little bit more motion in the back end. Comparing this ball against another asymmetric hybrid in the track lineup, the Track Theorem, you could tell this one was a little bit quicker off the spot, maybe a touch more overall hook as well. That Theorem tends to be a little further down the lane and a bit more of a rounded ball motion. That's the type of ball motion that I gravitate towards, being a left-hander and trying to play a little bit more direct and more up the lane. It's nice to see that within that track lineup, you have some different flavors, some different types of ball motion in those shiny asymmetric pieces. Now today I was on a longer pattern, it's 46 feet, not a lot of volume, and that's typically where a shiny asymmetric ball like this comes into play. I wouldn't recommend this, especially on fresher conditions on maybe shorter to medium patterns. Obviously depending on the type of lane surface, the type of oil being used, this is a type of ball that you would use later in a tournament block, 
or later in a league night, for example. But for our purposes today, it actually looked really good on this longer pattern with a little less volume. Overall, I'm really impressed with what I see. I really like the solid, and this, to me, provides a really good complement to that original archetype. Now, if you're in the market for a new bowling ball, like an archetype hybrid, head to shop.bufabowling.com. Use our promo code JUNGLEBARKS and save 10% off your order. And I want to make a special shout out to Mitch and Frankie, bowling on the PBA Tour, supporting us, wearing our logo, JR Pro Shop Viz logo on their sleeve. So if you're at a tour stop this year, and you see Mitch and Frankie, say hi to them, they'd really appreciate it. So once again, my question, when it comes to inserts, do you like to blend in or do you like to be bold? Let me know. Thanks for watching everyone. We'll see you in the next video. strike. <laughs> it's a little better.